Hey, gals and guys, it's Kristen Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com. Look at a little scruff there. Look at a little scruff under the chin here. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at Pinnacle and how to edit in Pinnacle Studio a three camera shoot. So just open up your Pinnacle Studio as so, <clears throat> and you'll see it's normal as usual. What you're going to look for is this icon right here. It's like a square with four squares inside. Just click on that bad boy, and we're going to expand it so you can see it a little better. So here's your cameras, um, up to five, six cameras, and two audio, um, two audio placements, I guess. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> and um, you can expand stuff here if you want, and uh, you want to see things a little better. And you can play around with these different things. They're not any different than uh, normal. So I'm going to do, uh, here's all my videos right here. They're from my desktop. And I'm just going to hover over this one that says camera three. I'm actually going to start with camera three. So that's going to be my first one because that's um, me up close. Camera two. Oops, I think that's camera three I'm going to do next. So that's camera one, part one. Okay, put that right there. This is camera one, part two. This is camera two. And I think I screwed these up a little bit. So this is camera two, part one. This is camera one, part one. This is camera three, part one. And this is camera, this actually should be here because that's, um, no, this actually should be here, okay. So I basically confused myself as always, but that should be the layout. Okay, so make sure you label <laughs> your clips better than I did. And uh, once you got them all together, you got everything you need. Um, we're going to click on this bad boy. We're going to go okay. And then your uh, interface is going to come up. Um, so this is just self-explanatory. You can view your entire project. Um, you can fit everything in the timeline. And then up here, you can decide where your audio is coming from. So my audio is going to come from camera one. All right. And then um, you can sync your audio. There's different ways to do it. And my dates are off on some of my recording devices. So I'm not going to use dates. I'm not going to use markers uh, or selected area. I'm going to try to have the program do it itself. So as you can see, it's going to analyze. It's going to do it the best it can. Um, to synchronize the the sound, so all the clips link up. That's why you see um, in in movies you ever see behind the scenes and everything. Um, you got your clapboard, so that's the indication to um, where the scene starts, and that gives the editor the the um, keys to go ahead and um, line up all the shots. I mean, it's more that's kind of the simplistic. Um, explanation. Uh, what I do normally is just do a loud clap. Uh, in this case, I don't think it worked that well because one of the cameras were way back. I don't think it heard um, heard it that well. But let's see um, how it linked up. See, I'm sitting there. I'm standing there. Uh, so it doesn't really line up so well. See, I'm opening something here. I'm sitting there both there and I'm opening something here. So I didn't do very well on that. So if you're gonna do your three camera shoot, make sure it's loud. And um, I've done three camera um, edits on Pinnacle Studio before. And if I have the cameras real close, it worked really great. But uh, this is my screw up. So I'm gonna fix this. I'm just gonna maneuver everything around until I can line everything up. And then once I do that, I'll get back with you. All right, and this is the result of uh, what I did to line everything up, and I'll show you exactly. And hopefully you'll do a better job than, <laughs> than I did. As you can see, these are pretty scattered. Um, but I was a one-man show, so it was hard to coordinate everything. So let me see here. Just want to make sure. All right, pretty close. The box is all open at the same time. So that's close enough for um, what I'm doing here. This is not a Hollywood production. I'm just teaching you how to do a three camera shoot. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. 
and we're going to start. So this is where the fun begins, where you can edit. So we're just going to click on that. And we're going to go play. And you can start before the action is happening. And then I'll just cut off the ends like that um, once we're done combining um, all the clips into an edit. So pretty soon we're going to have our second camera come in here. And then it's really simple how to do this. Um, I'm not moving. It looks like a little frozen. Oh no, the computer's moving. I'm frozen. <laughs> I can see the computer in the background. All right, so this is this. So just to show you, just hit on here. There you go. All right, so I did some editing. Here's all my edits and cuts. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, so I just want to show you here. So I'm missing a piece. So if you need to import source, just click that. And I got to go to my desktop. And I've got to find part two. Should be right. Part two should be right here. All right. And then I got to sync everything up again. Let's go back here. So if you need to get closer on your videos, um, to kind of, if you get closer, it's easier to um, look at the edits. So you just use this plus and negative down here. Okay, and I sync those up. And once again, maybe my uh, mistake is your education here. So you can start off again. You can uh, pull in a clip, as I showed, and then you can start off to um, where these come together. I'll have to go back and let me show you something stupid that I really did. Um, for some reason, this clip didn't come out um, full length. So now I got... This clip in the back, <laughs> it's showing, and then me in the front. I'll just have to zoom these parts in a little bit when I when I get to it. Um, again, my screw-ups hopefully is your education. Make sure all three of the videos are the same fucking size. <laughs> all right, so we will start again. All right, and then I'll go here. And there's my cut again. See how I'm clapping on both these clips? It's not succinct. I got it as close as I could. All right, so we're almost done. We're on the fourth wheel. Oop, do I want the back of my head? We'll do a quick cut. Ooh, all bunches of excited. Jeez, I let that run pretty far. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. That's enough. Not sure why that's there. Why there's a blank area there. That's fine. I mean, that's after it. I don't even need this crap. So hopefully we can just delete it. Just highlight it and delete it. Okay. So we're going to go okay. We're done with our with our three camera edit. And it's just going to render through it. And there it is right there, actually. There's your studio project, multi-camera. So I'm just going to drag this down. All right. And then you're going to see as I go through here. Oh, I guess it was black before. I guess I didn't I screw that up, that camera. Um, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was. It's okay. I mean, I'm not going to sweat it. This is just for uh, tutorial purposes anyways. All right, gals and guys, and then you can go ahead and edit from here normally as you would with your Pinnacle Studio. And that is it for this tutorial. I have a tutorial on how to edit with Pinnacle. Search it out. This was only for a three camera edit. And I appreciate you as always. If you could please share, subscribe, definitely subscribe if you could. I would appreciate that. You can like gals and guys and hit the bell for updates. I appreciate it. And gals and guys, I will catch you later.